is up, crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers. I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and that is the all new Slayer Elite. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got some roughage already, dude. That's okay. Let's take the hood off. All right, so we're running the Palm Power 3S battery AGF RC servo. We are running the turbo racing, or actually, this is from the FMS, same thing, receiver and Furitech. ESC right up in there there you go there's a good shot of the bottom here's where the ESC is running the Samix 050 motor on the Hobby Plus CR 18p transmission running the DJ crawler 68 millimeter tires monsters with the hard foams on the biggest wheels dude we got the hobby plus wheel weights all the way around plus six mil brass in the front and just the plastic hubs in the back you can see here on the links mounted here and here in the front down to a screw here in the center we have bands running two all the way around and three on the rear passenger we are running the Endura oil filled shocks with 80 weight oil. There we go, dude. Let's go. All right, here we go, dude. We're at Waterloo. Let's see what we can do. What a long freaking week. By the way, dude, hope you have a good week. Hope you're having a good weekend, dude. Sure glad you're here to hang out with me. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I freaking love this thing, dude. It's a little bittersweet at this point, dude, with how much work I've put in, how little sleep that I've gotten, how tired that I am, and how much I want to show it off, dude. Uh, I, this is actually my third time out to show off. Uh, the first two times, is this actually third time, fourth time? I don't know. Struggling, dude. I just, I get so, I get so, like frustrated i want to show off i want it to be perfect dude perfection that's what i'm gonna put in the thumbnail you know perfection dude i'm a perfectionist and that's uh sometimes awesome and sometimes you know you just gotta know when to quit you know so this thing is absolute amazing and driving it is so rad but i'm new to it and you know i got to learn and then you know i'm trying to do tricks uh out at the river that were just absolutely crazy by the way here so what happened i started uh and then all of a sudden it started to rain so i had to wait we come back out try the same obstacle can't make it up so yeah just right there you can see dj crawler tires don't really like the water <clears throat> just a little bit that's a that's a very high grip area right there by the way but we did run it in through some slippery muck so uh, there you go, dude. I'd like to see it definitely did I mean it did all right the rest of the area But you know, I mean it definitely took the bite off of this area it may have been good uh, You could see I finished with the beating a tire at the end stay tuned So oh my freaking gosh this monster dude. I can't I just want to go drive dude It's just everything I do with it is just so freaking rad um, it's balanced, it, 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 by the way, it weighs 573 at 6040, dude. Just, uh, it's heavy, it's a little slow, but dude, it just works, man. You just let it eat and it freaking works. So, the Elite right now, this is up available for sale in this configuration only. FCX 24 axles with CR18P skid. That's the only one available right now. Uh, you can run it in other ways, but there is only that ESC pan, right? The electronics pan in the front is made for the for that skid, for, for how the motor is offset to the driver's side. So the other motors have, uh, you know, the, the drive shaft more towards the center or whatever. So we're gonna have to make new skids. So, but they may work, I just, I haven't tried it and whatever, so I, um, over the next few days, I will be doing all of that. I need to make a CR18P actually, and an SCX24 Elite. Uh, and then I also have surprises coming. So, but I do gotta verify those ones, uh, make sure that those skids work in the other configurations. 
and uh, we'll get those listed. But I, this is listed as it is, as it sits, because I have tested it. If you want to go ahead and build it as something else, uh, you know, and work through it with me, uh, let me know. But you will be doing that at your own risk. So, not that I wouldn't take care of you. It's not very risky either because this thing's freaking rad. Dude, I love driving this thing. I wish I could have. I don't want to take all the time to edit all the footage from the river, dude. It was it was just rad. It was just I you know, you know well why do I struggle, dude? I have a hard time because I want it to be continuous run. I don't want to lie to you, dude. I don't want to piece together a whole bunch of falls uh, like this, you know, and try to try to make it look like I did something that I didn't actually do. Could I have done it? Sure, I could have done it, but I didn't do it, and I feel like I'm lying to you if I piece it together. So I don't do it. Like I start to get hella frustrated, and I just keep starting over. And so that's what's going on. I burned, you know, two battery packs twice. You know, trying to show off, just trying to be a perfectionist. And, uh, you know, it gets pretty good. But then, you know, I was looking at it and the film is kind of dark and I missed a couple shots. And you're like, ah. So I ended up just starting over. We went to Waterloo. Uh, you know, just that's what we did, dude. And then it started raining. <laughs> Every opportunity to be upset and be frustrated, dude. Just feel like I'm just wasting my time. But uh, you got to want it, dude. You got to freaking want it. I stuck with it. Come out here. Maybe this isn't the best video, dude. But it's out there. You can see it. This is the best freaking car ever. I've, ever, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, you know, it, it does everything so far. It's been able to do pretty much everything that a Slayer can do in the real world. Um, and then some. So, uh I would have never guessed, uh, just even just a week ago, that it was going to be able to. I thought it was going to be a hell of a compromise, but uh, you know, right here we're still struggling. It's it's still the grip is is uh, is still missing on the on the rocks, but uh, absolutely amazing, dude. So freaking good. So man, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Oh, by the way, this is where we, uh, I de-beat it right there. Um, and I just, it had been coming loose. The foam had been rolling over. I'm going to relook at these. Uh, I need to check my inner stage foam and, uh, and how to work with these big ass tires. So the foam's not coming off. And, uh, I think it was probably my fault. I was trying to fix the foam and, uh, I think I was the one that pulled the, the, the tire out actually that's at the beginning and then kept messing with it and it just got worse. So also it got put in a pinch and ripped out. So if that keeps happening, we'll have to make sure that, uh, that we fix it. it. It doesn't happen anymore. So there you go. Take that guy. So pretty rad, dude. We're kind of here on the freaking end. I wanted to push up in here and I was so stoked. Dude, just, like I know you can't see it because I went off a freaking screen. But, you know, trust me, dude, it was rad. You should have seen it. <laughs> Why weren't you paying attention, dude? <laughs> All right, bro. I gotta get uh, get going here pretty quick, but uh, you know, check this out right here. Get ready for a rip tail flip, dude. And uh, I hope that you have a great one. I will do my best to get out more videos because I want to drive it. So, and tomorrow is Sunday, dude. So, buddy, day. Here we go. Okay, how's the rip tail flip? Let's try it again. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Don't be a wuss. Why are you keep going off the screen? Are you paying attention? That is a savage ass little climb right there, by the way. Rip, tell you a freaking flip, homie.